Howdy, everybody. So we are back for the Rudder volume or episode number six. So that's my dad helping me. They came down um, to help out and to see some grandkids perform at some school things. So he figured he would help me out a little bit. So he is helping me with the rudder and here we're just attaching the, the spar to the skins at this point um, and we'll do both sides um, it's just a lot of put the rivet in squeeze it move on to the next one so while we're doing that um, I will share a joke with you so what do you call a nervous javelin thrower Shakespeare <laughs> yeah. Oh, my girls like that one, so that's good. <sighs> okay. So, there we turned it over. <clears throat> Basically, you just Clico every other one, put all the rivets in, squeeze them all, remove all the Clicos, put all the rest of the rivets in. So, this section is kind of boring, not a whole lot to it. Um, and I have my makeshift chair there. I do need to get a better chair. Um, I found that I I'm not always standing. That sometimes you have to kind of get pretty low. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at maybe finding me a chair that I can sit in that's a little bit more comfortable than a milk crate. But a milk crate works, so it's okay. Um, we ended up. Um, you'll see the the last video and we ended up finishing the rudder once we got the the back order parts I'm still waiting on some bearings that the the ones that screw into those nut plates that we just did in the previous video um, still waiting on those they are apparently nowhere to be found anywhere in the country um, they are back ordered for from aircraft sprues from all of the places that I've looked for, you know, them, uh, Vans doesn't have them. Nobody seems to have them. So I don't know why, but they're not around. So I'm, I will wait on those. I can't technically attach um, the rudder to the vertical stabilizer until I have those, but um, I'm not really at a point where I will be attaching those anyway. So it's not a huge deal. I um, mean, here we're putting the um, top uh, rib in to the rudder um, and it fits in there you basically Clico it in and then you pop rivet it to the spar um, and that happens like I've said a million times it's kind of how everything goes together you do you have the ribs and then you have the spar and you use a pop rivet to connect those two so that's those um, riveting that um, top rib in um, is not bad until you get towards the end um, it is pretty tight there towards the end and the last few are actually uh um, pop rivets so you, you know they try to help you out but most of them are are the squeezing the 426 rivets um, and towards the back end of that it gets pretty tight so you have to be careful And then we do that, do the back ones with the pop rivets, and then oh, did the front one. So that's what I was doing there. There's five rivets on the front that have to be done as well. Um, kinds of holds holds that all together. And then you have the pop rivets, and then you have me drilling out a rivet because I didn't like it, and doing it again. You do that a lot to drill and out rivets. Um, I figure I drill one out per every 100 that I squeeze, and probably I drill one out for every 50 that I buck. So that's about my average. Um, I'm not sure if you guys, you know, if you do it more or less, let me know in the comments um, whether or not that's a, a good average, a bad average. I, I think it happens to everybody. I'm not so sure. So there we are finishing that section up. Do a 
on both ends. And then we will start working on the trailing edge. The trailing edge is very, very interesting because it has to be straight, right? It's a, it's a control service, so you can't really mess it up that bad. Um, and you don't see in this video, but you might see in the next video, the, when it's finished, it is within a hair's breadth of being perfectly straight. I mean, there, there might be maybe uh, a 16th, and that's maybe, it's probably a 32nd of an inch um, where it's not completely straight. It is extremely straight. And how we did that um, was we went back and forth. So we did rivets going in one way, and then the next rivet next to it was going in the other way. And so you basically alternated the rivets, which side they, the chop head was on. Um, and those are double flush rivets. So as you're squeezing them, it's actually making them, you know, completely flat. So there is, there isn't a, a part sticking out there and you see, <clears throat> there I go. I, I'm on the other side squeezing those, but technically we put the rivets in. Oh, there was management and we, we must've did good cause she left quick. Um, so we, we would go side to side. Um, and as we would squeeze one, um, it would kind of bring it back into straight. And then as we squeeze the other side, it'd move it a little bit out, but we did the next one and it was straight again. And then when you, at the end, finally at the end here, coming up in 30 seconds or so, um, that trailing edge is, I mean, perfectly straight. I put the, the edge of a, a four foot long ruler that I have as a straight edge and it is, dead to nuts. I mean, it is nice. So I was pretty proud of that. Pretty glad that it turned out that way. I know some people have had problems making sure that the, you know, there wasn't, wasn't any bow or um, any, that it was actually straight. So it ended up really, really nice. And that's me looking at it saying, oh my goodness, it's actually straight. What am I going to do? Because I fully expected it to uh, have issues and have to do something. But no, it you know, ended up pretty awesome. And so we just did that back and forth, going one side, and then the other side, one side, and then the other side. So it worked out pretty good. It is kind of nice. I remember growing up, my dad would always have me hold the flashlight. So it's pretty cool. Now he's the one holding the flashlight. So I don't know any other guys out there that are, you know, it's kind of pretty awesome if you ask me. So there's that ruler. We put it on there, rest it on there, and it's like pretty doggone good smile. So, and then this last little bit is you have to round over the, the front edges of those. But that's pretty much it. Have fun. Leave any comments if you see something I did wrong. Talk to you later. Bye.